Hi guys. So today we're gonna be trying Israeli snacks. So let's get started. The first one we will be trying today is a pistachio, um, like a, pata a, pat a pistachio like sweet treat wrapped in like powdered sugar it looks like. I got my plate to put it on top of and we're gonna try it together. And yes, all of these foods are straight from Israel. open this. So, this looks like a powdered sugar pistachio like something. This is what it looks like. Maybe it's with some cornstarch. I'm not so sure, but that's what it, the inside looks like. And today we'll be trying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight snacks. And comment down below what you want me to try next. I'll be interested, okay? It's the texture of like bone chi if you ever had that but there's no filling it's very dense on to the next one i'll be right okay we're gonna try eight foods that was food number one then we're gonna be i'm gonna be showing you five like little treat toys that are actually really cute and really fun but we'll do that then the next one we're gonna try is like i don't know what the name is exactly on these um is a pistachio or like if this one is clear this time similar i'm thinking in the taste aspect this one does have doesn't have a, like a scent like this one this one tastes more like rosy i don't know what this flavor could be possibly um it, this one is rolled i'm assuming or pushed in with pistachio i'm assuming so let's take a bite good it's much softer than the last one and the last one from this tri um, three set is um, a disc all wrapped these are all wrapped in the same type of like I don't know layer this time it's a circle it's like rolled it's like mixed it in with pistachios and rolled in pistachios This one definitely smells stronger than the last one. So. It's a very like aroma tasting, so that's very interesting. I would say the first this one I tried, I'll give it an eight and a half. Pretty pretty good. Seven and a half, almost like a six six and a half seven. This one I would give it one. Now we're gonna try some 
nuts. This is an Israeli peanut. Um, comment down below, guys, your favorite uh, nut of any choice. Nut, nut butter, anything like that. I would like to know. So, let's get started. So, I just have a bag of them, but this is what it looks like. Uh, let's see. Ooh, there's like a, it's like, it's like a hard shell. I would give these a solid 10. These are really good. Now, these foods um, I have not eaten yet. These are my blunt reaction. Oh, and one more thing to mention about these peanuts is these are you can't eat the whole thing there's no like hearty shell just to show you i'm not peeling anything off i just are good next are these little like chickpea i don't know what to say these are but like chickpea Mm, these are good too. They have like a little salty taste. They're really good. Another 10. Now we're going to get into the bagged products. So I got four here. And I'm going to try the first one. This looks like a popcorn coated something. Something popcorn coated. It smells good. It's just a caramel like coated popcorn. Yeah, I would say an eight. An eight. A solid eight. They're good. I will link the stuff down if I if I remember the description box. Um okay. Next one I'm gonna try. I gave that one, the last one, a solid eight. These look like pita chips, I'm assuming, or like Lay's. The bag looks like a Lay's chip. Oh, I'm wrong. They're these like air. <laughs> okay, whatever that was. Um, there is a. These look like um, a puff chip. They're good. I would say eight. eight and a half. Eight and a half, nine. I'll be right back. Let me see something for a second. My dog is going a little bananas. I will deal with that later. I'll give these a solid eight and a half, nine. Go. Solid eight and a half, nine. Uh, next thing I'm gonna be trying is these little straw chips. These look really interesting. Oh, okay, so they look like like these. That's what they look. Little like uh, 
What's it called? Will look like a little like pretzel almost. Like um like a fry. So I would give it a good a good ten. If you ever had um if you ever had um Lays before, that's what it tastes like. And the last one we're gonna be trying is um, Bamba, which is basically a peanut, like puff almost. It's, it's like this, but a little different and it's like peanutty. The ones that we're trying today is Bamba filled with like a, it's like a Nutella. I will admit, I have tried these before, 10 out of 10. Now, if you do find these, they might taste a little stale, but are so good. And that is it for the treats. I'm doing this a 10 out of 10. Right now, I'm gonna line them up. Um, and how do I like this? One second, guys. So, starting off, this is my like, I should show you guys. This is my, so it's going from my least grade least to greatest so these are my least favorite then i would have to say these are next actually yeah these are next then i would say it's the chickpea for food um like chickpea puffs then i would put ooh, these are hard then i'm gonna put these puffs i do love them actually i'm gonna switch the puffs these and the puffs and then I'm gonna put the peanuts after. And then I'm gonna have to put this. I actually want to switch the peanuts with this like caramel popcorn. And last, my favorite is this. So, this is my line. I will show you guys. This is how my list goes. So, now I'm going to move this to the side and I will keep on my side what I want to munch on later and then we're going to get into products and I'm going to show you some cool stuff um, and then we can talk for a little I don't know how long this video will be but let's get started Part two of this video is products. So this is a, this is one product. It's a Hamsa with an eye on it to fight off bad luck. It's like a, it's a look see-through, but it's not. It's a dark navy. Oh, that's my reflection. You can see me. It's a dark navy and it's really nice. I think it's made out of glass, so this is really nice. Then I got a set of, um, one side is English. I got a set of playing cards, and um, I'll show you a couple of this, the funs of it. Um, oh, also comment down below if you have, it, what your favorite playing card is. I wanna show you, like, I'm gonna get four out to show you, so I'm gonna show you two at a time. So this is how it looks like. This is one playing card. I believe this is a this is a six. Oh wait, it was upside down. Yeah, it was a six. And this is what it looks like. And this is the Tower of David. So basically, these are the two angles of Tower of David. The next one are two different, but this is 
this is a mountain of some sort in Israel, I'm assuming. That's a number three. So the cards I'm going to show you are the six, five, three, and four. And this is Jerusalem. So yes. Another question here is, if you ever, ever have, have you ever been to any countries? If so, if yes, which ones? Let me know. That's playing cards. Then the next we're gonna get to is the next thing we're gonna come into. Come in. The next thing I'm gonna get into right now is um dreidels. So dreidels is really cool. So there's multiple different kinds of dreidels. There is plastic, wooden, and metal. Metal, steel, whatever you want to call it. So I have three options to show you. And which, yes, they come in multiple different colors. The first one is this little blue dreidel. The next one, this back and like tilt it a little lower. Don't know how to do that. Yes, that is that's one kind. Now, yeah, I am holding it, trying to angle it without. That's some more. And I'm gonna tilt the camera down, so I might have to push my chair back for to be in frame. So. The next kind is that also one kind of wood, or another most common type that people use as a starter dreidel are not like how small these are, how small these are. They will most most likely be made out of a a domed or like corn corn a cone shaped bottom with a, a big circle and like a wooden stick to spin it on. And the last type is a, this is one of the fancier types of like, if you can see like the bottom. And there's, I'm gonna show you how to spin a dreidel step by step. So wanna start, I'm gonna use the, the wooden one, this one, just cause I like the grip better. So to start off, you wanna hold it either with your dominant or non-dominant hand. And you wanna make, hold on, I don't know how to show it to you, like a motion like this. I don't know how to show you guys, but like a, a motion like this. And then you wanna find a hard surface, like a table, chair, whatever. And you're gonna put it that, about an inch off the ground. You could, or you can have direct on the ground. You can either do it in, I prefer doing it in my non-dominant, but some people like to do it in their dominant hand. All depends, preference on you. Um, so then I can just spit like this. Now it does take practice to get it to work like that. And the next one I wanna show you is how to do it with a smaller die, not just like a large die like this with the large surface surface area, but one with a smaller surface area and one with like a semi-decent surface area. So, that's not good. Oop, that's out of frame. Then that's off frame now. So this is how to spin it this way. Oop, that was a good one, but uh, that was a good spin. This is how you can spin a dreidel. Uh, one, step one is you wanna turn your wrist to you. So you don't, some people will turn the wrist away. I think spin it in. That was a horrible demonstration. So, hold on. So I just usually do it fast. So you wanna turn it in and fast. And that is how to spin a dreidel with a smaller one. And then last one is metal. And obviously, I can corner it to show you guys. But yes. Oops. Looks like 
this. Then I can tap to stop it. And some other tricks people can do. It's not that what I just did is what I call something else like this one it's harder to do a trick on like you saw me try to do it before you need something with a, um, a long stem like a longer stem but more surface area surface area if you know what I'm saying so more width and what you're gonna do is is it's harder to learn but once you learn it once you like it once once you learn how to spin a dreidel like that, it. Okay, let me try this one again. Yeah, so. And also, one thing I mentioned, if it's if it's spinning and slides off your table, it will still spin. So, that's a cool fact. Um. If you have any questions, comment them down below. And I'll see you guys next time. So if you have any comments, questions, or anything, comment them down below. And let me know what you want to see next time. Hit that like and like button and thumbs up button. Hit the ring notifications and hit the if you see the red subscribe button that if it's red hit it and it should be gray so leave those thumbs up and hit the bell and leave a subscribe button peace